Playtime is now over, and a far more profound two-minute period of your life has just begun. Engineers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant have resumed testing a filtration system after operations were suspended for half a day. They say a glitch in the control system of a holding tank caused the decontamination system to automatically shut down. Plant managers say an alarm went off on Friday morning, indicating something was wrong with the advanced liquid processing system. The engineers found that the control system of the holding tank was sending out two contradictory signals about whether it could contain more water or not. I could still use a brain transplant right now. The engineers plan to suspend operations for three days from Saturday to check the system and make any adjustments. An estimated 400 tons of groundwater is seeping into the damaged facilities at the plant every day and is becoming contaminated. The head of Japan's nuclear regulation authority had some harsh words for the president of Tokyo Electric Power Company. He's demanding the company move quickly to prevent contaminated water leaks at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. I mean, that's laughable. The nuclear regulator's top official, Katsuhisa Ikeda, summoned TEPCO president Naomi Hirose to his office on Friday. You're not managing the situation at the nuclear plant properly. I'm really concerned. I'm worried that this kind of leakage may occur again. Keda said he wants TEPCO to send personnel from other power plants to assist with the work at the Fukushima plant. I'm terribly sorry for the mistakes we have made. We mishandled the leaking wastewater, and that is affecting the environment. Oh my God. Hirose said TEPCO had recently changed its system for managing contaminated wastewater and that workers had not yet learned to use it. Oh my God. He said he would employ every possible resource to deal with the problem. TEPCO workers found that they had pumped too much water into a storage tank, causing it to overflow on Wednesday. They said they detected high levels of radioactive substances in the water that spilled out of the tank. Blasted the Japanese government for downplaying and covering up the radiation leaks at the Fukushima nuclear power plant. Korea's Minister of Oceans and Fisheries, Yoon Jin Suk, criticized Tokyo for its, quote, immoral acts and said Japan had a duty to inform its neighbors that it was planning to contaminate the ocean by releasing hundreds of tons of radioactive water. Yoon added that Tokyo's, quote, absurd actions had seriously affected Korean fishermen and said she wondered if Seoul had to tolerate such actions under diplomatic protocols. Seoul slapped an import ban on all fishery products from a number of Japanese prefectures, including Fukushima, last month due to possible health risks to Korean consumers. The International Atomic Energy Agency is about to lend a hand to the workers in Fukushima Prefecture. It's sending a team of experts to offer advice on decontamination in and around the plant. The International Nuclear Watchdog says 16 experts from inside and outside of the agency will be in Japan from October 14th through the 21st. It's the second IAEA team to be sent to support the cleanup in Fukushima since the 2011 accident. Their mission will be to check whether the decontamination work is being carried out properly. They'll also offer recommendations. The cleanup work is falling behind schedule, partly because of a lack of progress in securing space to store contaminated soil from the surrounding communities.
Experts on information management are protesting the Japanese government's decision to destroy some secret defense documents. They're calling for a public debate on how to properly manage classified information. Japanese government officials have destroyed thousands of such documents annually in recent years without disclosing their contents. Defense Ministry officials say about 34,000 secret records were destroyed over the five years through 2011. They say they were only obliged to keep them for a certain period of time and they were handled in a lawful manner. Only one defense document has been declassified since procedures were introduced in 2002. Yukiko Miki is one of the experts who opposed destroying the documents. She says some facts could never be verified if confidential information is destroyed. When the fish Catch fire, will it be worth it then? And when the cancer rates ninety percent or higher, will it be worth it then? When the whole world's a war over water and oil, will it be worth it? No more fighting, cause there's no more spoils. Will it be worth it then? If not, if not, what will it take to make you change your mind? What kind of sign could convince you that people are worth more than? Japan's economic revitalization minister Akira Amari says that TPP member nations agreed to speed up the talks and try to conclude the negotiation within this year, even without President Obama's presence.
Ministers from several nations have said we should not lose the momentum to reach an agreement because of President Obama's absence. We do not have much time until Tuesday's summit, but we will make efforts to work out a framework agreement in time. Now, the head of the International Monetary Fund has welcomed Japan's decision to raise the sales tax to restore the fiscal health, but she called for more action. It's one step. It has to go further. And there has to be enough fiscal measures that are anchored in the medium term so that the debt again turns downwards. Christian Lagarde said Japan must do more to slash its debt by pushing reforms in social security and other areas. She noted that Japan's government debt came close to 250% of its gross domestic product. In April, Japan will increase the consumption tax rate to 8%. That's up from the current 5%.